Hello, I'm Lord Jimsical. Welcome to another episode of Current Thoughts and Musings. This time I'm going to be talking about Wonder Woman Rebirth. I'm not going to recap the plot of it. Chances are if you've read them as well, that's why you're listening to me prattle on about it. Speaking of prattling, this is an audio-only episode, so open up another tab and carry on as usual. You will still be able to hear me. Right, on with the episode. Something I particularly enjoyed about the first two issues of Wonder Woman Rebirth is something that I need to put into context first, so please bear with me. I always thought it was quite clever that comic writers get around, or rather implement, editorial decisions by using the story itself, be it the arrival of a new universe, continuity, and what have you. A great example is how DC consolidated several universes into one to streamline continuity by writing a 12-issue series titled Crisis on Infinite Earths, which depicts a cataclysmic event that resulted in a singular universe with easier continuity for the writers to draw from. Many readers take this sort of thing for granted, not everyone of course, I can't speak for everyone, but I personally think that it's a clever way of making editorial changes seem somewhat feasible. 2008 did the same thing with Judge Dredd years ago, they wanted to make Mega City 1 smaller to come up with more interesting plot lines, uh, so they wrote the Apocalypse War which resulted in East Meg 1 sending nukes to Mega City 1 and thus destroying a large chunk of it. Again, I digress. The reason why I thought it was good for Wonder Woman Rebirth is that she was looking for Cheetah throughout the story, but Diana is experiencing some kind of dysphoria and heavy amount of flashbacks to her pre-Flashpoint and New 52 origins, but she has no idea which is her real origin. She constantly utters the phrases, this is a lie, or, and the story is not the same, which sounds like an excerpt from Portal, but yeah, it's a bit of a rubbish joke. It's only two issues in, so I don't really have much to say about it compared to Superman, because the latter had much more changes done. But I do like the direction that Wonder Woman is going in so far from what little I've read of it. The art was absolutely amazing. I was overwhelmingly impressed with how beautiful it is, especially the costume. During each flashback, she had her new 52 costume on, which wasn't too bad, but the current costume looks great. It's like a lighter version of Gal Gadot's movie costume, but with a bit more red and blue. In summary, the dialogue is great, the story's pretty good, I'm pleased they're still continuing with her origin being rooted in Greek mythology, which might not sound like anything new, I mean it's been done for quite a while, but it's a point that it always goes back to every time they tinker around with her origin, and I very much enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening, can you tell me uh, what you thought of it? There'll be another video episode um, on Friday, so I'll see you about that. Cheers.